Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to unlock your passwords in case you have forgotten your Windows login uh, password. Uh, this is, works for Windows 8, 7, XP, whichever version you have. Right now I'm running it on Windows uh, 8, 62-bit uh, version. Uh, so I've got this user account and I tried to enter the password. I forgot the password. So in order for me to log into this machine or recover my password i'll have to use the uh, another tool uh, in this case i'm using software it's a free software called oph crack uh, and it's uh, worked pretty well and it doesn't take that long to crack the password so i'll show you how to uh, do that so first we need access to another PC where we can download the software and burn it on a CD or a USB drive. I'm going to show you steps on how to do it on a USB drive since that is, uh, since those drives are most common these days, the pen drive. So first we go to another laptop and down, let's download the software. All right, so I've got this other machine. This is I think running Windows 7 or some version. Um, so uh, we do is uh, go to Google or Bing uh, or whatever your favorite search engine is. Type in O P H C R A C K and do a search. Go to their website and there's a download link. Uh, what we need is the live CD because we want to boot our Windows machine uh, uh, with the USB or the CD so that we can uh, access our password. So we just click on download OP Crack Live CD um, and it should take us to a version. I think uh, I downloaded Windows Vista version. Uh, let's see. Yep, so it has all these three, two, three different versions. Uh, what I'm using is uh, the Vista 7 Live CD. So once you click on that and download it on, on your uh, computer, and then what you need to do is. Uh, all right uh then you need to uh, get uh another free software called universal gsb installer or even uh, unet uh, boot in both of these are used to burn live images or isos or cd images onto usb drives i'm just going to use universal gsb installer uh, double click on that click on yes to allow access click on i agree in the drop down menu you go and select OPHCRAC in the distributions. And I think that's under other distros. So you go down. Oh. There it is. Select OPH crack. Then you browse down to the your directory where you downloaded the live uh, the Vista version or the XP version of the software. Once you plug in your USB drive, it should pop up right here. You select that drive and click on create. That should create a bootable USB drive with the OP, what is it? OPH crack uh, OS installed on it. Then what we need to do is go back to our Windows 8 machine where the password uh, where we forgot our password and we have to boot the machine plug in the USB drive and boot the machine up uh, with the USB drive so we can go into the uh, into our uh, OPH crack menu so let's head back to the Windows 8 machine all right so now I'm on my Windows 8 machine with the bad uh, with the incorrect password. I plugged in my USB drive with the OPH crack and I'm going to power off this laptop completely hold down the key for like five seconds to shut it down and then I'm going to press the power on and but I'll have to make sure that this laptop boots from the USB drive so on uh, on this one uh, I think if I press F12 key after power up, I should be able to get into the boot menu. On your laptop, it might be a bit different. So I turn it on, press the F12 key to go into the boot menu. And there it is. And all I have to do is select the USB drive, USB storage. Uh, 
uh, the, the biometry can see it USB storage device instead of the hard drive and I hit enter takes me to my USB drive I go down select automatic hit enter and it should launch the OPH crack I still don't know how to pronounce it so I just call it OPH crack it could be off crack or something but let's see so right now it's loading uh, the crack software I think that's easier so let's see so there we are I have to make this video I could not do screen capture since I'm not running the system all right, so now we are in the OPH crack menu. It opens that up. You'll see the whole uh, distro running in the background. And what we do is now I have we have to load first. Oh, let me make clear focus. There it is. So I'm going to first do a stop. Then we have to definitely make sure to load tables. And in this case, I this one comes with Vista probability tables. So I select that. So first thing we need to do is uh, load our tables. Uh, these are the rainbow tables uh, with the passwords. And so uh, we go to Vista probability table. I'm going to do a install, and this actually comes with the Vista. Uh, with the OPH crack uh, live CD. I've got these other ones, the tables Vista. These were the ones that I downloaded afterwards, but we don't need that. Uh, we go into the uh, folder. All right, this folder, actually, I'll show you where it is. Uh, in the install window, once that pops up, click on com double click computer, go to your root, go to media, Go to SDB for your USB drive. Go into tables and go into Vista Probable Free and just click on choose. So it's going to add the path there. Then click on OK. And now we're going to start the process. So there you see it's loading the tables into the RAM. This will take around five six minutes I'm just gonna pause until it counts back out so now it has loaded the table in and it's now working on cracking the password and there you see there's a one password that came up uh, which is password one for uh, this user GIKA. So this is the password probably we can use to unlock the account. So this was pretty fast. It's going through the rest of the process to figure out other passwords. But usually in, in your case, I think the, this uh, user one uh, it's probably this uh, GIKA, GKATARABA account that was created and then changed to user one. So I'm just going to stop the process since we already know the password. Uh, so I'll just stop the process. We note down password one, all lowercase. I close uh, OPH crack, then I go down, quit. And this should, oh, actually I need to reboot. So I'll just press the power off. Usually there's a reboot button, but I'll just do a power off. And then I'm gonna do a power back on, take out my USB. The system should take me to my windows. Login screen. This is an i7. Uh, system as you can see core i7 but it's still taking some time to load because the reason is I have installed uh, I think it's called Alienware uh, Respawn so that what it does is it saves all the settings down every time the system is running or 
so that, that makes it slower so if you want to make your system run faster don't turn on any automatic recoveries or things like that uh, that was just a pointer all right come on now you can see my camera in there and that's a LG flex that's a pretty nice uh, telephone that I've been somebody gave to me all right so user one even though the name over here says user one I think it's tied to that other one uh, the old ID which was shown by OPH crack so we just enter P A S S W O R D one and hit enter and voila we have access to the system and we have recovered our password so uh hopefully this helps you and uh next time you know if you lose or forget your password for your system you can use these steps thank you for watching have a good day